excuse me, uh, so the question comes in my mind about uh, uh, sorry, a tradition of the Holy Prophet that uh, Hazrat Ibrahim, uh, his son, if he had lived, he would have been a prophet. Yes. Uh, she's a question, uh, forgive me if it's impertinent, but... No, no, there's nothing impertinent. Please go ahead. The, the question uh, is... Uh, that, the questioner has to be honest about the question. Then yes. nothing is impertinent. Uh, she, the question is that yes. uh, Prophet Muhammad obviously um, said that after um, receiving revelation from God. Uh, what question comes in mind is that a human being can make a statement that if his son had lived, he would have made him a, a doctor or an engineer. But um, God knows everything. So what did, could he mean by saying that if I had made him live, I would have... Yes, I understand the point. Thank you. You are only considering a God who knows, who is Alimul Shahada. But the Holy Quran tells us that God is also Alimul Ghaib. Shahada means the realities of things which have happened. It, one meaning of Shahada is this. And uh, Ghaib means what has not happened. So Allah knows both these things. And you can conceive this situation. I mean, this is not all the meaning. This is one of the meaning, which are meanings of uh, Shahada and Ghaib, which I am pointing out. Now suppose you have a map before you and uh, a car at a, di a diversion has taken one of the two possible routes, which leads to destruction. And the other route, which if had been adopted by that car, would have carried it to safety <coughs> and to destination. Now, you can say, with, with positive knowledge, that if that car had taken that route instead of this one, it could have reached safety and destination. But because it opted for this route, so it had it met destruction. There is no contradiction between these two statements. One is the statement of Shahada, which what actually happened. And the other is the statement of Ghaib, which might have happened but did not happen. So if you have a consummate knowledge and a complete knowledge, then you speak, you can speak, you are in a position to speak, both on the facts of life and also on those things which did not become the facts of life, which remain possibilities. And your knowledge would be perfect in both these directions. But if you have no knowledge of Ghaib, then you can offer certain possibilities that may, may be true, may not be true. So this is the distinction between God and man. When Allah knows those things which have not happened, He is right. Only such a thing could have happened, which He says in such possibilities that would have happened. But man can propose many possibilities. They, there may be one among them to be right and none of them may be, may be right either. So when Ahadr is told of something which has not happened, it is because Allah knows also that which has not happened in exactly the same manner as I have illustrated. A car has not taken the road to safety and you know it. But because you know the whole phenomena, you know if it had taken that direction, it could have reached safety. Yes, but uh, if God knew that he would die, he wasn't living anyway. Yes. Then so you know, knew that the car has taken the wrong turn. Yet you can say that if it, if it had not taken the wrong turn, it could have been led to safety. Couldn't you say that? No, I, th I think I'll have to listen to your tape later. Fun? To understand properly. No, no, please. <laughs> I'm, I try, I'm trying to make things easier for you through illustrations. I understand what is bothering you. The point is 
that a thing which has not happened is conditioned. If certain things had happened, that thing which has not happened could have happened. That is exactly the situation to which you are pointing out. And to make things easier for you to understand, I illustrated it by a, a route which is bifurcated into two. If you take one route, you will meet destruction. If you read other route, you will reach safety. And something or somebody has taken the route to destruction and he ends up. That is the reality. And the other thing is not a reality, it would never happen for that car. Yet you could say, if that had car taken that turn, it would have reached safety. Is that correct or wrong? That's correct, sir. And is there, is there something wrong with your knowledge if you say that? No. So how can it be go wrong with God then? Uh, Hazur, do you think it's... Uh, I'm right in thinking that God had a purpose for uh, making Holy Prophet make such a statement. For that, uh, yeah, that purpose is obvious. If you are searching for that purpose, yes. that, pers perf that purpose is very obvious. If there were to be no Prophet of any sort, after the Holy Prophet of Islam, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu subordinate to him, I mean, then this statement was not necessary. That statement is made, that revelation made, is made with a purpose to prove that a subordinate prophet to be born after Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu does not contradict the concept of Khatam al right. That is the purpose. I understand. Thank now, you. Yes. Because uh, if it was not possible, Ahadr could not have said such a thing and God could not have revealed such a thing to him. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I am looking at you. <coughs> is either my eye is not rightly directed or your eye is not direct, rightly directed? <laughs> I am looking straight at you and you think I am looking in this that direction. <laughs> <laughs> Hand up as well, you did? Not this time. Yes. 